Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have a word from the Lord and I'm just going to give it. And I'm very grateful and thankful for this word, for this word because it really has touched my heart deeply. Um, I'm going to seal this word, Father, in the name of Jesus. I totally surrender to you in this day, Lord. I surrender my mouth. Let my mouth be your mouthpiece, Lord. Just flow through me, Holy Spirit, and do what you need to do and what you do the best that is reaching us by touching our hearts and healing us from the inside out. Go into the depths of the heart today and heal every single one of those broken hearts that you will touch them, you will touch them, that you will touch them and our root out of the broken hearts, every root, Lord. It should not be there, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, bring you rivers of living water upon every single one of those at the sound of my voice. Father, I seal this word with the blood of the Lamb. I place a demarcation line upon our minds and our hearts. Lord, that this word will be established. It will be written in the tablets of our hearts. That we will never depart from your word, Lord. That we will not only be hearers of your word, but doers of your word. That we will apply the word into our life, into our walk, into our mouth. That your word will become the sword that we will use to dismantle every assignment of hell and every lie that is trying to reach us, Lord, that we will get up and fight with the sword. And the sword is the... <laughs> it's what the Lord is giving us to fight this battle. Because the battle is going to, is going to intensify. And we need to be ready for, for what is coming. And that sword has to be inside of us. So he's going to write the word inside the tablets of our hearts so we can use it in the time of need. And the word says, you know, resist the devil and he will flee. And the best way to resist the devil is through the word of God. Submitting the mind, the ears to the obedience of Christ and placing every captive, every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. There is no other way because the devil really attack us but we have, we have a strategies and the Lord has equipping us through his word. And that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to go into the word and, and the word really touched my heart because the Lord is a God that he knows everything about us. He knows what is coming. He prepared us and, and he knows what's going to happen. He knows how we're going to do things. He knows what we think. He knows how, you know, it's, he knows all of, I mean, we are totally naked in front of him. Even when like, when Adam and Eve got into the mess that they got because of the snake in the, in paradise, you know, and they realized they were naked and they were hiding. Many of us, we try to hide just like them from the Lord. And the Lord is saying, I see you. It doesn't matter where you go. It does not matter where you run. It doesn't matter where you are trying to hide. You can be hiding anywhere you want to go. I am there and I'm watching and I see it. And I'm going to keep on going and I'm not going to stop because I'm calling my children to come to me. So be ready, be ready. And the word comes from the book of John. And the book of John is, is a very, is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. And it says, it's John 4, verses 1 through 15. And this is the woman on the well. The woman on the well. Not the well, the well. The woman on the well. And it says, when, and now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself did not baptize, but only his disciples, so he says, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee. Galilee. And he had to pass through Samaria. So he came down to of Samaria. Uh, he came to a town of Samaria called Sichard, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. So Jacob well was there. So Jesus, weary, he had was from his journey, was sitting beside the well. And it was about the sixth hour. Listen to this now. 
verse 7 is the verse of completion. It says, a woman from Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, get me a drink. We need to understand that this woman that came to draw water from the well was a woman that was totally broken. Just as many of us, when we come to him, we come from a place of total brokenness. We are so broken inside that our heart and our soul is caught in little tiny pieces. And many times we don't even realize it, how broken we are until we find a healer. And then we look back and we say, oh my Jesus, <laughs> you really took me out of the pit of hell. You took me from darkness into light, from lies into truth. You gave me identity when I was rejected. You gave me drinking water that I will never have been able to run thirsty again. You took me into a place, a place of encounter with your love. You show me your heart and you have never left me. And I realized because of everything that had happened in my life, I realized today that in the worst days and times in my life, you were there picking me up, covering me up, protecting me, holding me. He was there and he's been there for all of us. And when we get to that, we will just do like the woman in the well. Just that. Go to his feet and drink from those wells of living waters in which we will never run thirsty again. <laughs> and when those wells of living water come inside of us, he will fill us with healing. And the healing will come from the inside out and it's a process. And many of us, because we have gone through hell, <laughs> we are coming <laughs> from very broken places. And the Lord is just giving us beauty for ashes. And he healed us with all living water from the inside out. He's building us. He's restoring us. He's changing us. He's transforming us. He's cutting us and separating us from him and him alone. He's taking us into a place of encounter. He's taking us into a place in which we'll never be able to be the same. He's taking us into a place of identity. <laughs> that we come from the righteousness of God in Christ. Seated in heavenly places. And we come into this ground with power and authority in him, telling the devil, you are under my feet. And I will dismantle every assignment of hell that tried to destroy my life and my children, my family, my marriage, and the people that I love, that the Lord have entrusted me with their hearts. And we will come with power and authority because we, are, we know, we know who we are in him. We are not that person that was there coming to the rivers of living water, totally broken. We have been restored in him. We still got to process because there is always more because he's taking us into different levels and realms of him. And for that, that it has to be more purity, more holiness, more integrity, more righteousness. And that's what the process will never end. And hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus, for that process. Because it's a process of purification. <laughs> Cleansing us. And the word says, less is more. So he's really doing surgery in our hearts. And ripping out of us. Everything that is holding us down, every hindrance that does not allow us to move forward and advance into his kingdom. 
and into our calling and purpose. And it's not easy. Those process sometimes bring so much tears that it's not easy. And we're just bold and rolling in front of his presence. But there is a grace. There is a grace. There is an abundant grace for that. And he's giving us his grace to go through the process. <laughs> and walk out of the process in victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we walk in that victory. Because we walk in him. Glory be to God. I'm going to go into the scripture. And the scripture says. <sighs> it really touches my heart. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him. Listen to this. How is it that you. A you. Ask for a drink from me. A woman of Samaria. For you have no dealing with Samaritans. The thing is that for Jesus we are all his children. There is no Samaritans. No Jews. No Cubans. No Santo Dominican. Republica Dominican. No Peruvians. No Americans. No Indian. No white. No color. No black. No yellow. No pink. No nothing. We are all his children. <laughs> Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink. Listen to that. Give me a drink. You will have, you would have asked him and he will have given you living waters. And that's what the Lord is telling you today. This word is for you. And Lord, I ask you that you put this word right in the tablets of their hearts are the sound of my voice. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with. And the well is deep. Where do you get this living water? So the woman have no eyes to see who that man in front of her, that humble man with a heart full of living waters. was in front of her. I feel the presence of God here. And I really pray to the Lord that that presence fall upon your life today. And that he will touch you in such a way that you will run to the rivers of living water of his heart. And that you will never ever be able to be the same in the name of Jesus. And he says, are you greater than our father, Jacob? She said again, he gave us this well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. Now Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty. <laughs> will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. And that is the word that the Lord has for you today. Come drink out of my rivers of living water. Come drink. I will place my word inside of you and it will become fire in your heart. Your world will be inscripted in the tablets of your heart and you will never run thirsty. I will give you healing. I will give you identity. Your thirst will be eradicated and you will never run empty again because the, the emptiness that you have inside your heart, only me can feel it. And I'm calling you today to run to the rivers of, living, rivers of living water in which you will never be empty again. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty of have to come here to draw water. And the Lord is telling you today, run to me. Open up your heart. 
It doesn't matter the scars that you have there. It doesn't matter the pain that you have there. Run to the rivers of living water. Run to the rivers of living water. Run to the rivers of living water. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, He wants you to open up your heart today. And He wants you to receive Him in your heart. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I receive you inside my heart. I ask you for forgiveness for every sin that I have committed. Sins of omission and commission. Sins that I have committed with my eye, with my word, with my body language, with my words. Father, I repent from the bottom of my heart. Or root out of my heart every root of iniquities, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I break every covenant with the devil, with my flesh, with the world, with my words. And open a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I know that you die in the cross for me and you are back to life on the third day. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. Today, I surrender my life completely to you. Come live in my heart. The day that I die, when I open up my eyes, I will be in your arms. Lord, take over my life. Do whatever you need to do. Be the potter. I am the clay. Change my life, transform my life, fill me with rivers of living water, and he will do it for you. Tell him from the bottom of your heart, and it will be nothing that he will not do, because he's a God, he's a God of transformation, he's a God of supernatural healing, and he will heal us supernaturally when we open our hearts to him. And I wanna read something to you that he told me, in Genesis 1, 1, 6, the Lord said to me, I feel the presence of God in such a way that I'm shaking inside my body. I can't tell you that. And the Lord said to me, go to Genesis. Genesis 1, 6. And then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. So when I read this, I said, Lord, what is that? There is a division. There are waters and then the firmament and then the waters. What is that? Means there are living waters in heaven. So the Lord divide the pure waters, the holy waters, the living waters out of the waters that we have on this ground. So that's why we have living waters. And I believe in my heart that we're going to have living waters in heaven. <laughs> So, thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants me to um, play the shofar. And he said to me today to let you know that when the shofar is sound, the walls of your heart, they're going to be dismantled like the walls of Jericho. And you are going to receive healing in your heart. And he's going to break every barrier, every lie, every assignment of hell in your life, and you're going to receive major healing from the inside out of your heart in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I glorify his holy name in Jesus' name I pray. I bless you. Let me play the shofar as he told me to do. Obedience brings blessings. And we have to be in total obedience even when we don't understand why. Just obey. Father, at the sound of shofar, you told me you are the one who's playing the shofar, Lord. And at the sound of the shofar, you're going to break every stronghold in the mind. You're going to dismantle every assignment of hell. Everything that is holding them back is going to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You're going to purify the hearts and bring healing into the depths of the heart. And you're going to bring rivers of living water from the chambers of your heart into their hearts in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I glorify his holy name. In Jesus' name I pray.
glorify his holy name. And I prophesy to your life that it's a shifting into your life. That he said, shifting into your mind, into your walk, into your heart, into your soul. That he said, shifting that is coming in in the name of Jesus. And it's him who is bringing rivers of living water into you at the sound of my voice. That he said, shifting that is coming from him, from the depths of the Father's heart, from the rivers of living waters, from the chambers of his heart. He's taking you into resting places. Resting places. I bless you. I glorify his holy name. And I give him all the glory. Because I am just a vessel. And a slave of Christ. A bound servant of Christ. That is who I am. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. Shalom. Shalom upon your life. Amen.